I am just out of the shower. I put my hair up um, in this little turban twist kind of thing. It's made out of like a cotton... I'm not quite sure. It's like a cotton. It's not microfiber, um, but it's something that doesn't cause frizz. So I'm just out of the shower. I rinsed everything completely out of the hair, but I want to show you what I used in the shower today. The first thing that I got, I got from Sally's. I realized that I actually have hard water in my shower, and I didn't think it actually played a part um, in the curly process, but I think it really does. I think the calcium builds up in the hair, and when you do a clarifying wash, it really doesn't rinse all of that out. So I've, hear, I've been hearing people talk about this Ion Purify. It is the hard water shampoo, and it's gentle enough that you can use um, every time that you wash your hair, you can use a shampoo, which I usually do. I use a shampoo every single time. Um, I feel like product builds up my hair more easily um, but this one I feel like it doesn't strip as much as the kinky curly come clean as like a clarifying so I really think it does um, clarify enough but it doesn't like overly strip the hair of the oils when I first put this in my hair I actually or put it in my hand I actually thought it was Dawn soap it smelled like Dawn soap but it was like a grainy tinge to it um, but smelling it again it has more of a fragrance to it like a florally fragrance but it, it does not strip your hair so don't worry about that it's not Dawn soap but it did spark my mind when I did see it for the first time and smell it overall it gives a really nice lather to the hair and I hope it you know helps out a little bit I won't know until my hair is completely dry today but for conditioner, so once I rinse that all up, I put in my Generic Value Products Conditioning Balm. This is compared to the Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm with the orange line on it. This is the go-to for me. It's a very, very thick conditioner. So because I didn't want to feel like I was stripping my hair of anything, you know, because I don't know the shampoo that well, I know this one for a fact really gives me a lot of moisture and a lot of condition back into the hair. So I use this um, just on my roots, kind of like where the bleach part is, and then I use my wet brush pro it's in the shower right now my wet brush pro um, and then I detangled my hair and the conditioner that's on the brush while I'm detangling kind of gets to my roots so I've been doing that more uh, when it comes to putting a conditioner rather than putting it everywhere in my hair even though I do rinse it all out I just feel like it's a lot of conditioner to put on my roots and now that my new hair growth is coming in I notice that my scalp is becoming a little bit greasier so my natural hair is different than my bleached hair clearly uh, but I am noticing a little bit of a difference when it comes to that so when putting on conditioner I've been really focusing on the mid to ends and then when I brush it kind of moves the conditioner up for me in little increments so I rinsed everything out today I did notice it feel like it was still kind of dry so I'm hoping that the ion shampoo didn't strip my hair too much um, but I did rinse everything out and then I just put it up in this twist okay so let's take this puppy out and what I've been wanting to do I saw I've been getting into Mains by Mel here on YouTube she is a curly hair stylist and she does have coarser coilier curlier hair. It's definitely not the same as mine. Mine is more wavy, sort of getting on the curlier spectrum. I'm starting to get more ringlets um, on this curly girl method. Um, but I do notice that maybe my hair is being weighed down because I'm putting in products while my hair is way too wet. So that's why I put it up in this turban. Usually I use this only when I deep condition my hair because I don't really, I just want heat in my head. I'll use a shower cap and then put this on over it. But today I wanted to try it out. Um, I really yes, see barely any frizz um, going on. It just kind of takes out the moisture in my hair where I still have a little bit of moisture. So for my deep conditioner today, I want, or my deep conditioner, sorry, for my leave-in conditioner, I'm going to use the Not Your Mother's Naturals Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon. This is a repair and protect leave-in conditioner. And then I'm also going to get my squirt bottle. Okay, so I just put regular water in here, nothing fancy. This bottle is great, great. It gives you more of a finer mist, but you get more longevity of the mist itself. Really, really love this. I got it at Sally's. Um, I will link it down below for you with the link so you can check it out yourself. They had a couple different kinds. They had shorter bottles, but I really like this. So my hair really isn't anything fancy. I'm just going to make sure it is more, it's damp right now, but really not much. So I'm just gonna add some more. You see how long the spray is? Um, add some more water in here because I don't want to put product on super dry hair and create that frizz and break up my clumps. Okay, so I'm going to squirt this on my hand because I feel like with one, um, let's see if you can see that. It That was three squirts and it, it's a lot. So um, I did five. I'm just going to rub it up into my hands and then from my ends, I'm just going to 
this in. I'm just going to rake it in. Be gentle with some of those knots. And scrunch in the product. I think I need a little bit more water. So now that my hands are, <laughs> I can't hold the bottle with one hand. My hair is very low porosity, so the water just sits on top. So I really have to work it into the hair. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more conditioner. I did like three more squirts. Just going to separate and make sure I get the back because I tend to miss that a lot. We can neglect the back of our head. I normally separate, it usually does it on its own, but today, because I want to do even, even um, product distribution, I'm going to separate it right now, and then as it dries, I will flip my hair. So my hair looks great, it feels great, it's not sopping wet, it's a little stringy right now, but once I put in product, I think I'm going to run the Demon brush through it, not anything like crazy, but just to get my clumps back, because right now it is really stringy. I think I'm going to put a little bit more water because I feel like it's just not wet enough to put in product. It's not super wet, not like I usually do. Usually it's soaking wet, like dripping in the shower. But it's not enough that it's actually dripping on me. It's just enough where I feel like there's actually moisture in my hair. Yeah, that's way better. See how it kind of clumps a little up a little bit more when I have the moisture in there? It's not as stringy. Okay, so I want to use my Diva Curl Styling Cream. I've used this once and I really, really liked it. I can't open the top because my hands are wet. <laughs> um, but I really like this cream. It is very light and airy. I did about, what did I do? One, two, I did two pumps, I already forgot. Um, and you get a lot of product. So I'm just going to lightly put this in my hair. I already put too much right there. I can already tell. I should have done one pump and then, and then uh, put it through my hair and then done, did another pump because that is, eek, might be too much product. Yeah, I like, can you hear the sound? That's what it should sound like, according to Mains by Mel, and I truly, truly believe it. She does have um, curlier hair, but I think we can all benefit from a little bit of volume. <laughs> um, so maybe not a lot of water and drying time. I hope drying time really won't be that bad. Because my hair feels exactly the same. I just thought if your hair's drier that you'll get more frizz or more breakage, but it looks exactly the same to me. So loving it. I really hope so because this can help so much. It smells great too. This combo I'm using, the Not Your Mother's Leave-In, and then the Diva Curl. Scrunched it up into my roots because we only applied it on the ends. So I'm just scrunching up into my roots. I may not even use the Denman brush today, to be honest. I'm feeling like my clumps are pretty good once I put water back in. Water helps with clumping so much. Like, if you feel like your hair isn't clumping, add water. Add water and sort of finger coil it and then put them together, like kind of wrap them together and create those clumps yourself. But because I noticed that I get really good definition, but I don't get any volume, and then when I do this and I have more separation, less clumping, but I get more volume. So it's kind of a, a give and take on that. If you want volume, um, you may have to separate some of those clumps. But if you want definition, then of course don't separate the clumps. Okay, so I wanna get a little bit of extra moisture out. So I'm gonna use my Curls Like Us. This is my favorite towel. I will link it down below for you. I don't know if they sell this one anymore. I think I've only seen like a white version. So I'm just going to get the extra product out of my hair and the extra moisture. Not going to do anything crazy. Yeah, it's already looking great. To make sure I get a really nice cast on my hair, I really like a good cast. Um, I'm going to use the Diva Curl Frizz for you volumizing foam. This is really, really great. I don't think I've ever found like a bad mousse. I, is there, are there bad curly girl mousses out there? Like, what makes them so different or not different? This one's very, very light. It sort of disappears very fast and it's very fragrancy. So I'm gonna go underneath and just focus on my roots because I don't have any product in there. I did two more pumps. 
and I'll look in the root. I'm not going hard on there. I'm just like gently putting my putting my fingers in there and then going up to my my scalp and then just sort of like placing it and then doing this. Cause I gotta get the back. Last before I go and I think I'm going to plop just for maybe like five to 10 minutes just to get a little extra moisture and get some more volume of my roots while it dries. I'm gonna put in the Love, Beauty, and Planet. This is the Coconut Milk and White Jasmine Hairspray. This is awesome. Uh, got a weird misty thing going on, but I'm still liking the results. This is the hold number two. Actually about the hold number three, so I'm gonna be trying that out um, probably in my next couple wash days um, to see if there actually is a difference between hold two and hold um, three. Hold two is light hold and freeze control. I think hold three is like more hold. What is even hold one? Is that even a hold? Because this is light hold and this is a two. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just going to spray this around, really get help with the drying time. And this is a continuous spray. You can't really see it, but you can definitely feel it kind of spits on you a little bit. Scrunch it into the hair. It's got a nice jasmine smell to it. I really like it. It's really pretty. It's like, um, it's almost like perfume for your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plop my hair um, in a long sleeve t-shirt. If you wanna know how I do this, I will link the video down below for you. I did this video a long time ago and I've done it the same way. I'm gonna plop for about five to 10 minutes and then I'm going to pixie diffuse. If you wanna know how I pixie diffuse, I'll link that video down below for you as well. Um, I'll probably diffuse till it's 90% 90, 90 dry, a good amount. I'm gonna use my uh, Berta blow dryer. I actually got this. Um, someone wanted me to send this from Amazon to test it out, and I have been absolutely loving it. It's got a off low high, and then a low high medium on heat, and then a cool button. The cool button you do have to hold down, but the thing I love it the most is that it fits my Extava Black Orchid diffuser, and I love, love, love this diffuser. If you wanna check these out, I will link everything and everything that I've talked about on my products down in the description box. And everything in here, of course, is curly girl friendly. So I'm going to plop up my hair in the long sleeve t-shirt for about five to 10 minutes, and then I'm going to pixie diffuse, and I will be back in my chair at my desk with my finished hair. So my hair is officially dry. It is 5.11 p.m. on August 10th here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the heat today is very hot. It is 100 degrees. Um, it says it feels like 104. It feels like 120. It's like I'm melting outside. But after this, I'm definitely going to go to the pool because I need water. <laughs> So I did my hair around 10.30 this morning and then I diffused and kind of left the house around 11, 11.15. Went to go get coffee, um, sat inside for a while, did some work. And then I did some, ran some errands outside and my hair kind of opened up a little bit with the uh, wind and the heat. Um, but my hair still kept a lot of the curls and it opened up and I love the fullness um, when it kind of gets hot, I really like it. but. I am absolutely loving my hair today, like loving it. Um, I'm actually getting more definition up top. You can see some curl patterns happening right there and I didn't even use the Denman brush today. Um, a little bit more here in the front. I feel like my hair is just kind of getting back to its normal state, this curly girl method using these natural, more uh, no silicones, no sulfates, no parabens, like nothing harsh on the hair. Um, and I just feel like my hair is just coming back to life after, um, you know, my, I had curls and I had waves, um, but I feel like it was just being weighed down a lot. So being back on this curly girl method, like really figuring out what's in my products, I think is really helping. So I just wanna give you a 360 overview of the hair. I have no idea what the back of my head looks like, so it feels good, but I, I really can't tell. <laughs> Overall, I think the Ion Clarifying Shampoo, I think that really, really helped. Um, I'm definitely going to be using it uh, once a week. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it every time that I wash. I know that it is gentle enough, but I still like kind of using that low poo, like the Not Your Mother's and um, the Acure one. That one has a nice shampoo I can use. Um, so maybe every other wash I'll go on with the Ion Hard Water Shampoo, but I really feel like it stripped the hair enough, but not so harsh like a clarifying would. 
um, but I feel like it really lightened up my hair a lot. And I think over time it'll it won't have as much buildup on my hair if I'm using that once once a week to get that hard water um, like calcium buildup on my hair. I'm super excited for this wash day. I really like the light hold on this. If it get, does get super super hot, I think I would use a gel in place of the curl forming cream. So instead of the Diva Curl defining cream, I would put a gel in its place. But I really like the effect of using that leave-in, a gel or a cream, and then using a mousse and then the hairspray on top. I feel like that's really nice. There's a little bit of crunch in my hair, but like me, I always like a little crunch because second day hair, you sleep on it, it just looks beautiful still and you have like your um, defined curls. So, oh, look at this one in front. This one right here. So cute. Um, it's really exciting to finally get my ringlets back. I had them a long time ago when I had long hair when I was on the Curly Girl Method and then I kind of got off of it and I really wasn't paying attention to my products. Um, but I feel like my hair is finally getting back to it. It's like it's actually starting to form a little bit more. Um, and I can only get better as my blonde bleach part starts to grow out of my hair that my natural hair will finally take its full, full cor uh, curl formations. So that is all I have for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, I link all the information and the products that I talked about down in the description box with their links so you guys can go check them out, get a little more information on them. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below. Hit the bell next to it for notifications for every time that I upload. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page, all linked down below as well. It's all at Curl Me Sweet so you can't forget it. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>